now we will look at examination of the knee joints. First, I would speak to the patient, introduce myself, and get his consent for the examination. Mama Ranti Bariya, Dhanishtari Parikshatra to come and help. E atrathar water mukut veda dava kapira na neta mata dhanindu. When we are examining a joint, we have to expose the area um, which are needed for the movement of that joint. So I would try to expose the muscles for the knee. We come back in a short second to the knee. Then I would, on inspection, look for any swelling of the joint, any redness of the joint, discharging sinuses, surgical scars. I would also look around the bed for any walking appliances. Then I would palpate the patient's knee joint along the joint line. I would see whether there is any free fluid under the patella. This is known as the patella tag. Now we will examine the collateral ligaments of the knee joint. The knee has two collateral ligaments, the medial and the lateral. When examining the collateral ligaments, I will place my hands with one hand on his leg and one hand over the thigh. I will slightly flex his knee joint and then apply a valgus force. Valgus force is a force towards me here. If this is causing pain, never even know that there is a problem with the medial collateral ligament. Then I will apply a varus force. When doing this, if there is a pain, there will be a problem with the lateral collateral ligament. Then I will extend his knees fully, couple of the ligament there, and do the same thing. If there is a collateral ligament there, there will be pain. Now I am going to examine the cruciate ligaments. For this, I will want him to flex his knees. Then I should be ideally sitting on his feet here and then I try to pull his knee forward on both sides. There would be laxity of, of, on this movement if there is a tear of the cruciate, anterior cruciate ligament. Then I will also try to push the knee backwards, like this. There will be laxity posteriorly if there is a problem with the posterior cruciate ligament. This is known as the drawers test. Still on the cruciate ligaments, there is another test called the posterior sag test. I will bend so that my eye level is at the level of his tibial tubercles and see whether both tibial tubercles are at the same level. If one tibial tubercle has moved backwards, that means there is a problem with the posterior cruciate ligament on that side. Next, I will examine the menisci. For this purpose, I will have the patient in the prone position and I will bend his knees to 90 degrees. Then, using a force, I will medially and laterally rotate his leg. If there is pain when I rotate medially, there is a medial meniscal tear. If there is pain when I am rotating laterally, there is a lateral meniscal tear. This, this is known as the Apple's grinding test. Thank you. Then I will thank the patient for his cooperation. Go on, Stephen.